Antihypertensives are a class of drugs that are used to treat hypertension or high blood pressure. The goal of antihypertensive medication is to prevent high blood pressure-related consequences like myocardial infarction and stroke. According to the evidence, lowering blood pressure by 5 mm of mercury can lower the risk of dementia, heart failure, and cardiovascular disease mortality, as well as cut the risk of stroke by 34% and ischemic heart disease by 21%. Antihypertensives come in a variety of classes and work to reduce blood pressure in various ways. There are various classes of antihypertensives used in clinical practice, which we have divided into four categories to understand and remember better. We call it the ABCDE of antihypertensive drugs. This is just a kind of mnemonic and can be used to remember all kinds of antihypertensives. In ABCDE. A stands for ACE inhibitors, alpha blockers, angiotensin II receptor blockers, and alpha II receptor agonists. B stands for beta blockers, blood vessel dilators. C stand for calcium channel blockers and central agonists. D stand for diuretics, and a new one, E stand for endothelium receptor blockers. Don't worry, you don't need to remember all of them by heart only a few of them which are extremely important in clinical practice. Apart from this, there is also a question, which type of medication to use initially for hypertension? Preventing the significant endpoints of hypertension, such as heart attack, stroke, and heart failure, should be the main objective of treatment. The patient's age, related clinical problems, and end organ damage are also taken into consideration when deciding on the type and dosage of drug to be given. One of the research papers published in the American Journal of Hypertension explains an AB-CD approach to this problem. Example. British Hypertension Society guidelines predict that the blood pressure response to antihypertensive agents A, angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers, or B, beta blockers, drugs is better in those aged less than 55 years. Whereas, that to agents C, calcium channel blockers, or D, diuretic agents is better in those aged 55 years or more. Certain antihypertensives come with some odds and benefits as well. So in this video series, we will explain everything you need to know about antihypertensive therapy, from choosing the primary line of treatment along with dosage, indications and contraindications, along with adverse effects, and certainly which type of antihypertensive to use for whom as well. By the end of this course, you will be able to understand the mode of action of antihypertensive drugs in our body. Also, you will be able to choose a best drug for your patient and help maintain blood pressure and preventing cardiovascular complication of high blood pressure. So let's get started. In the next video, we will discuss everything you need to know about beta blockers. Please subscribe and support us to learn more and get updates regularly. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day.